All right, welcome back guys. And today we're gonna to be talking about a flower that is popping up all over your neighborhood most likely, especially if you're over here in California. This is a plant in the woods, uh, this is a plant in the wood sorrel family. However, this wood sorrel family plant is highly invasive. And that is a plant that uh, most of us know as sour grass or Bermuda buttercups. Uh, this plant's true name is Oxalis Pascopere in the Oxalidaceae family. That is the wood sorrel family again. And uh, this plant is invasive from South Africa. As you can see, I am in uh, the fringe border of a wildlife preserve um, and this is especially where we have a heavy amount of disturb zones and this plant thrives in disturb zones um, so that's what's going on here uh, as you guys see we have the clover which is made up of three leaves and then when we're actually looking at the flower itself the flower has five petals in addition to five uh, slightly fused sepals um, the, those are the little green guys. I don't even know if I can get my camera to focus. Uh, anyways, you see those little green spiky triangle things? It kind of looks like an upside down crown at the base of the flower. Those are the five, uh, freestanding or slightly fused sepals on the bottom of the flower. And, uh, with those three things in combination, it's a great way to identify this plant. Hey, how's it going, brother? Super cool guy that's really interested in plants and, uh, uh, survival stuff. Anyways, I digress. Let's get back to this plant. So we all grew up chewing this uh, stuff, or most of us did. Um, but uh, since we're talking about that, let's get into the properties. So what you can do is you can actually take these yellow flowers and you can grind them up and use it as a yellow dye. Works uh, really good for getting those vibrant yellow colors. It's a beautiful flower. Um, and uh, in addition, the roots can be used intern internally, apparently to cure things like tapeworm and stuff like that. However, I can't find any specific recipes on how to properly do that. It's, in addition, something I've never done before. So before you get deep into that root cleansing game, uh, make sure you do your research and know what the heck you're doing. Um, the other thing about this flower uh, is its edible property. Now, this would be a plant that I would consider an edible plant in small quantities. So... There's some research that shows that livestock in places like Australia, when there's not enough things to graze on, will consume a ton of this stuff and it ends up killing them. Um, there is a compound in this called exolate calcium, I believe, and that compound is believed to potentially build up in the kidneys and cause kidney damage in people. Uh, however, it doesn't look like there's any concrete links between that and people um the issue is there's not really this isn't a plant that's being used in our modern society really so uh, the amount of research dollars going into this plant are not very much so i would recommend that if you're going to use this plant as an edible just to use it as a seasoning herb um, i believe in south africa there's something uh uh, but there's some kind of stew in Africa um, where this is used as a flavoring agent agent for that stew. Uh, in addition, uh, you could do things here uh, like I've done in the past. I'll make a survival pot of stew with things like malo and stinging nettle. And then I'll add uh, the stems and flowers of a couple to few uh, Oxalis pascopere flowers just to season it and kind of give that pot of stew a sweet tangy lemony flavor um, So again, that's the way that you're using it um, I see a lot of nature schools and stuff like that where they just let kids chew on this all day long. I Don't know if I would do that um, Again, maybe there's not a problem if someone has more information about the edible properties of this plant than I do Please let us know uh, in the comments below but, uh, yeah, I would not recommend letting kids just eat this all day, every day. Maybe uh, chew on one or two a day. Maybe make it like a special thing where you go out and harvest and find one and chew on it. Or even better, you go out and harvest and find one and then add it to something like a soup or a pot of stew as a seasoning. And it would be best to get into the habit of using this invasive South African wood sorrel plant in that way. So, again, that is the Oxalis Pascopere plant from the Oxalidaceae family. Thank you guys for checking out this newest video of this flower that is popping up and blooming everywhere. It's beautiful, but it's a a pain pain in the butt because it causes a lot of uh, environmental issues especially for our low growing native plants that would be otherwise in this area so uh, yeah thank you guys for joining us go out and pick those wood sorrels remember we do have native wood sorrels as well so don't pick those ones but pick pick these ones uh, if you have don't pick them here because we're in a preserve but if you have my home 
pick them there. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking out this video. And uh, we'll see what's blooming next and get another plant video on that. Beautiful little flowers. It just rained here for like 20 minutes uh, about a half an hour ago. And so all the flowers closed up. But normally with the sun out, they'd be open.